What's up guys, it's Mr. Janvet and today we're back on the Pokemon Showdown server. We'll be using B Pwn's team here. Um, this is his first team I think he's ever made. And so, you know, he posted it on my profile and you know I really respect the courage it took to make that. And so we're gonna be using this. A little unorthodox. Um, I had to fish change a couple of the sets, but I kept every mon the same because some things I just couldn't keep. Um, or else we'd be losing every game, just from a structural standpoint. But everything else remained the same. So, you know, looking at my opponent's team, his hazard control is non existent and his spectre answer is non existent. Um, and his Zapdos answer is non existent. So, spectre and Zapdos are going to be doubling down on those. Um, and the fact that he has very little, like, to stop me wreaking havoc with my shuckle is very interesting. Um, the fact that he's committing to with Nido King early is interesting as well. Uh, let me see, Riku. maybe he has Defog Dragonite. Like he's he's mad confident with this right now. Like, so here he Ice Beams. I could go with Victini as a mid ground. No, he Sludge Waves here. Um, okay. So final Gambit here. This the structure of his team doesn't look like a defog dragonite, but it, even if that's the case, but he goes hard to it, so you could assume that that's the case. Um, damn. Um, well, if that's the case, my Zapdos could potentially six hole him right here. Um, but I'm thinking like, what would dragonite run? Otherwise, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to my Zapdos. I'm gonna bulk up What it does is forces him to not defog. So he Draco meteors To 53 which means The next one won't I do think I do still think he has defog, but I needed him to drop his stats Um I really don't know what to expect here. Draco Meteor. If, if I guess if I hit the no, the buzz will still around. Um, unless it's like Thunder Wave or something. Okay, so buzz will comes out. Um, we're gonna knock that out real quick. Unfortunately, we're gonna take a ton, if, especially if he's helmet. But that's why I bulked up multiple times for his priority mods. Can't pressure me as much. A fucking helmet. Ah, I. That's not true anymore. But I do want my Zapdos around still. Um, I probably couldn't bolt strike and glaciate his Dragonite, but no balls. I, I just really didn't think about it. Um, but in hindsight, their glaciate was a no drawback. Um, so Spectre, you know, he's shown Draco. Um, he's already weak to this. And so if he's Draco's and, you know, I get the, he's like, huh, now I gotta be a little more careful. Mm. Like he's like offensive, offensive. And so Victini destroys everything else. Um, Let's get this hex damage off. Cause he okay, he misses Draco. That's tough. That's tough. Um he won't Draco again, he'll flame throw. It doesn't make sense to Draco. He has roost. What is this Dragonite right now? Like what's going on? Okay, so I completely misscaled the Dragonite. Um Hex is doing 33. So this will cover Draco and Roost. Mm -hmm. Sub here. Uh. Very little drawback. Um, especially if he Dracos. I don't want Spectre too low. Because it can come in on that slow king and he does go and shoot for I figured there's a possibility, but I didn't think he would there. If I'm honest with you, I didn't expect him to. 
And so he sucker punches, probably banned. Um, yeah, this game. He's wasting all his suckers. He only has three left. Mm, that's a game. Because this is the last priority of mine. Yeah, this is the last thing that can break my sub. It's a tough Draco miss on his Dragonite. For sure. Um, the Shifu I just sub on. Yeah. Mm hmm. So. Shout out to your team, my guys, did his thing. Um, webs and rocks are one of those funny things that if you get the matchup, it's super deadly. But if you do not, it is not, and you get smacked. And this is one of those rare cases where my man, because Reggie Lecky dropped to Yu Yu, that my man felt comfortable, you know? And I really like these types because his electric immunity is Cinderace. And so. Mandibus coming in on Rillaboom, which is the, really his best Rillaboom check. What was that's good? Have fun, my guy, my guy. Um, Zabdos is very good too. Spectre is very good too. So let's start the party with the biggest party player, man. As um, unless he leads, the only thing he can <laughs> drag pull is his best. Like is the only thing he can start with that doesn't lose to Licky. Um, and so unless he's like choice car cinder, like if he catches me with some choice car cinderace type shit or choice car dragon pull, goat shit, goat shit. I can win even if that's the case. But yeah, I'm gonna stand. Like I'm just telling you that right now. Because it's it's if he has choice card drive pull, he deserves the win. It's just just facts. Um, so he leaves with like the worst possible man. Uh, mm, I could volt switch predicting bolt, but there's no reason when I can just t bolt. Ooh, this this is why I said um you know if, if you focus on in the book and I actually was rereading it the other day. When I tell you leads are a form of protection, right? You know, if rule number one, if you can't guard against a Pokemon, never ever lead with something that your lead is a means of protection, right? Leading with Slowbro there was the worst possible thing because the most deadly thing to your team is Reggie Lecky. And so you never want to lead in the you never want to lead with something that allows your opponent to take. So he's essentially five six turn two. I mean, I tried to swap split up drill for this, but yeah, yeah. Uh, he's rare now, though. And so Shuckle can do something now. Um, specs, I think. I think he'd have to be specs to do that kind of damage. As we webs here, U turn was not the wave. Maybe you feared toxic. Uh, I swear, if this is another fucking. Um, 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 why, why can't I speak? There's a. The damn. <laughs> uh, why can't I speak here? So there we go. Reggie Lecky's back. There's the item. What's the damn? What's the damn item's name? Um, court change. There we go. I tried this team earlier and I faced the one court change Cinderace. The dude had a Mandibuzz. It, it, like he had like the most non-needing court change team of all time. Oh, he's um clear body. Interesting. I never see clear body pull. My man had like horrible experiences. He like yo clear body. So. Um, my best bet here is to VS in order to get it to the range where Thunderbolt can do its thing. Um, I mean, Lecky's just bouncing, man. So Cinderace is the biggest threat. Wow, I didn't think VS would one shot. Holy shit! Now that's power. Um, pulled, pulled forces. This voltage of the dust. So I just need to keep a cleft killer. 
I got Buzz Killer. Well, Buzz Killers exist. Clive Killer exists. Da da. -da. Runner. Da da. Yep. So I go boom here. Cause my best. What I'm trying to do is bait in. Um, Cause Mandibuzz comes in. Mandibuzz is forced to. Um, it's forced to U-turn or foul play. All right, so I knock off here. Um, the U-turns, I got him because he doesn't want Lecky back in. I could have sword Zance there, but I was already pre mentally prepared to sack my Victini. Eh, I guess I don't need to, but um, I guess Victini is a little more useful than. Eh, let's get this glide damage so Lecky can can do his thing. So he turns here. That's that's a done deal. Cause now I SD on his buzz. Well, what's it? What did you turn to? Twenty four. Yeah, I SD on this. Mm-hmm. And so now, Banda Buzz has to come in. Problem is, my glide is mad strong. And I don't die to grassy glide here. I mean grassy terrain. Um, so let's not waste a ton of time. I'm just gonna go hard lecky instead of wasting again a ton of time here. Um, it's just a problem, man. Guys, a problem. So that's their last really boom answer gone. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very, very impressed with the performance of the boom. You know. Um, GG. And so we'll sack Victini here um, as he Dracos. Makes sense. Um, and then when he locks himself into the Draco again, I got Steamroll by the mind. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't even spexed. Yeah. Let's just VS back. Um. Yeah, Lecky's a problem. Holy shit, that did a lot. So Thunderbolt would have knocked him the F out. And so, um, boom, sack. And then I'm curious how much Clef is going to take. I want to see this roll. Holy donkey. Oh my god. Jesus. I haven't used le this thing. If you don't have a counter, man, if you don't have a counter, man, problem. Problem. So it's fun to see Lecky do something, you know? It's fun to see Lecky. Oh, man, I tilted the fuck. No. But um, it's fun to see Lecky do things again, right? Uh, I love these no... I don't believe in electric resist type teams, man. Love it. Because this puts you in a spot where, because you can only lead with mines. It's funny, a cell gore is not even a mine I considered, but I just randomly pushed the speed up to, I was like, maybe like a, you know, a bulky McGear and I can outspeed tier. But um, more importantly, is Rillaboom. Reggie Lecky forcing in Ferrothor and Rillaboom going brazy. I sub up in his decimation. Or, um,. Um, uh, oh, you no, no, you did not just lead with your Barrascuta, knowing full well I got a Reggie Lecky on deck. So, this is the part where we start overwhelming, you know. Um, even if he even if he stays in, and, and part of me was like, uh, I could see him being the type. Um, What do I want to do to capitalize on this? I got a couple options. Rock sticky web means. Because it's getting to the point where Rilla Boom's just going to come in. Alright then, so let's capitalize on the boom. Um, what gives me the most mileage? Don't need Spectre. So he's leaving it in. Good. Oh my god, annoying. That's mad annoying. That's mad annoying. But he's committing to Ferrothorn. Um, he's committing to Ferrothorn. Oh, 
that's that's annoying. Mm -mm -mm. I made this game a little harder than it needed to be. I should have just attacked his Ferrothorn. Um, even if he went to Pelipper, what is he gonna do? You know. So I should have never even given them rocks or any chance or any nothing. So we sub here. Um, I expected him to go slash last turn, but it's still same thing. Um, the slash, getting the damage on slash means. Still won't have leftovers. So I'd assume he stance changes. Yep. Okie doke. So maybe Shadow Balls was in such, such and such. It's now, um. Pelipper uh, doesn't quite die. That's fine though. Alright, so we rocks. We rock! Substitute, yeah, I made this like I, I made this way too close Like it's not close, but I just made it way too like it didn't need to be any of what it is right now is what I'm saying You know what I mean like predicting this ferrothorn and all that extra shit that's going on none of this was necessary um So I'll pivot to those the way he plays, he's going to leave the Ferrothorn in. Um, well, he shouldn't. That doesn't make any sense to leave the Ferrothorn in. Mm -hmm. So Slash is low enough. Mm, ideally, he goes hard, Thorn. Um... I, I played this super sloppily, especially for how easy of a game this is. Um, but we'll kill this so that we can start um, winning with with Rillaboom. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just never needed to be even close to this. Um, because what he's going to attempt to do is get um, Barrascuta in. But I'm not going to give him any mileage. King Shield. Hmm. Well, Pelipper is dead, which means Lucky wins now. Lucky plus Boom wins. So I'll knock. I figured he would King Shield there, but I just really, very little reason not to knock. Um, boots. That's interesting. Um, I'm glad that didn't do shoot. That didn't do none damage. Yeah. So that's all gore speed here. Like I like this is such a goofy game. Like I made this so much harder than it needed to be. I could bow strike. Um, but there's no point in that either. Uh I U-turn Lecky, T bolt, Victini Sack, and then I Rilla Boom Sweep. Um This was a great example of getting too overly because it would again it was very i could tell by the nature of his team very early and by how he played ferrothorn but there was just no reason to ever predict his ferrothorn you know um and so when that's the case you just attack what's in front of you if you went pelipper so what um a cell gourd does not enjoy these these meals um nice water shuriken whoa whoa so we just lucky vs and then um, even if he shurikens and got some kind of mystical magic it wouldn't have been enough and so obviously boom wins here um yep even if like I misclick grassy glide there already lucky out speed spare scoot outside of rain so it's gonna be our final game as he got the squad he has like he has my team <laughs> like <laughs> I wonder if this is the same guy like he has damn near my team unfortunately he has a Ferrothorn and a Swamper so Lecky doing nothing this game nothing it's actually a really tough matchup for me well Zapdos maybe could lean this in my favor and Hazards I mean more so sticky web than anything else it's not an easy game for your boy um, um, hmm. 
interesting stuff. So my the thing remember the defensive components, right? The thing I guard the worst against is definitely um, Swampert having its sway. So Swampert coming in, flip turning, you know, him doing whatever he wants because he gets the red card after that. But I guess with Sticky Web, I don't have like a big. I guess I can force Mandibuzz to defog, which opens up Spectre. That's a that's a route. That's a route. So let's see what his initial to the webs are gonna be. Because I have a red card, I keep forgetting that. Shout outs to my guy B Pwn, the strategist. That's what they call him. That's your new nickname, bro. Don't let anybody call you anything different. So webs easily the most important thing. Um tricks me that's not good this is very not good but he was scarf and so i'm glad he tricked me there because that would have been a problem for my one with sticky webs up and secondly with um he's gonna hit turn here but basically at this point i'm committing to well if you if you go buzz you're gonna either give me a kill with my zapdos when you defog that's the dope thing about Zap, right? Unless he's a toxic variant. Um, if he's typical U-turn foul play or U-turn knock, if he presses that defog button, he, he opens himself up to a world of pain. And it gets even dicier if, since he tricked his choice scarf, if, um, and so he does commit to buzz. Um, I'm gonna be U-turning out here for this little bit of damage. He could roost. I could see Roos making sense here because, again, Spectre is a Pokemon, right? And so if I Bolt Strike here and you Defog, so let's see what he does. So he does, does Defog. And so as I said, it's a situation of you give me a mine. Let me see if I sub up. Cause he might try to sack like a Ferrothorn or something. I just had to check. Does he have any like um, anything with uh, Infiltrator? Cause if he tries to sack Ferrothorn here, right? Exactly. Um, and because I'm subbing, he's not switching out. So I get a lot more mileage. So I get a two for one sale, and I still have my one. I'll still I'll get because he has to go to something that's faster than me for sure. And this, that's only Spectre, and everything else is a sweet tie. So this could sweep him here. Um, but more importantly, the Mandibuzz now hold. Well, I get no. Nah, if I get webs back up, even then, because I this this is a speed tie. Yeah, like so, I'm getting a three for one deal. I told you, man. Like this Zapdos making the wrong play, you are gonna get run up on, and so now. Everything like because Spectre is the only thing left that can outspeed me, and you know, to be fair, he doesn't need it to win. Um, I think what he's having to stomach at the, this point is the fact that when Spectre goes down, if he's not a jolly Zapdos, okay, so he's like, Yeah, I'm risking this tie, and he does win it. Um, if I won the tie there, it was a you know, done dealio. But I still have the Lecky in the back. Lecky in the back. As he uses Shadow Ball and he's Choice Specs. Um, sticky with, yeah. Um, take my Shuckle with you. Take him with you. And you already know what the business is, man. You better go to that Swamper. You know what it is. You know what it is, man. You know what the dealio is. Um, mm, 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 mm. Swamper is very annoying to this team. Very, very much so. Um, so what I'll do is Vic. Uh, so he's it pretty much. I'm, that stealth rock to me signifies that you're committing to not defogging. Um, I guess he could technically, like, I don't know. Um, not toxic here if you had it. Let me get some damage. 
So the earthquakes though, which means I can V create here, get some some damage out of this. I really should run like like grass knot on this. The amount of swamperts I'm running into, man, should have grass knot. Um, so um, I could go to no, that doesn't really help me. And so I get to go Spectre here. He should never stay in with the Swamper, but he does. I figured it was much. They tend to and flip turn, right? Mm-hmm. And what's beautiful about this is this allows for me to Willow is this, which is gonna start opening up Rillaboom. This file play is now not even breaking the sub. Spectre, bro, why are you like this, bro? Like why are you why are you why are you this way? <laughs> why are you this way? And so I get to plot here, which is zero downside because he either foul plays again or defox, fine. And I'm gonna sub up as he tries to stop the sub. Like this guy, I know he's like, I am tired of the move substitute. I am tired of that move. I am tired of that move. Oh my god! And so at that point, the moment Swampert died, Lecky couldn't lose, so I won the game there anyway. But yeah, like. My man's team's doing work. Actually, might as well. Let's let's grow one more since it's 26 minutes. I'm um, expected to be around 30. Oh, they hit me with the stall. And it's the lowest guy we've played so far, too. It's always how it be. But if I can manage to get him to, you know, play recklessly with the Landa Rosu, then we good. And Zapdos is very dangerous versus his team. Um... Well times Zapdos, very, 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 very lethal. Um, it's hard to say what his Landorus is, to be honest with you. Um, have fun, bro. Shout out to all my subscribers, man. The GOATs. Uh, Boom is really dangerous, too. Um, I just need a few more conditions bet for Boom, but, you know, very dangerous as well. So, phase one is going to be... This certainly has T-Spikes. Has to. Okay. Yeah. I figured as much. Um, I guess it's nice to have. Oh, now he gets to scald. But. Well, if I gambit. Because he's probably trying never to defog. Now, this is a horrible matchup for me. Horrible, horrible matchup. But depending on what he gets, uh, so like situations like these are what I'm referring to, right? The Zapdos, he has to fear Brave Bird um, or close combat. So Toxapex likely will be his initial switch, and. I'd assume that Zapdos subs never gets broken by, so it goes Moltres first. Which is, um, it makes sense. It makes sense, but that could have been very dangerous because he's so Rillaboom weak. But I guess at this point he's like, well, the T spikes are up, so I don't need to worry about Rillaboom at all. Um, maybe Victini, I can do something with Vic. Uh, I just do not. I can't afford to get burnt on this. Hmm. I think this might just be a dub, guys. It's always, it's always the lower ladder ones. Um. Like T spikes are just that's not not what I want to see. Um, and what's tough is I had no way. Uh, I guess I could have started with Lecky, but it, it's very like it makes sense for him to start with Lando. Um, so if I'm gonna bank on luck here, what do I risk the Brave Bird here? Risk a two hit KO, and then try to get some mileage out of Victini. Mm. Don't have a switch though. 
I'll try to. No, it's not a two a KO. So he only has mystical fire. Hmm. Just not strong. And if he drops my def if he drops my attack, it's a it's a it's a bloodbath. So actually, huh? This actually might be the fact that he has mystical fire might be to my advantage. Kind of. I might get a kill here. I need a mon dead. It's just a matter of what it's gonna be. So, like for example here, if he's mystical fire, I've shown sub. He could have. Um, so I woke up again here. Ideally, mystical fire doesn't hurt too much. Um, but it's a non-invested Moltres. So if he has toxic, I'd be tight. Okay. That's a good play there. Mm, what would I do if I were my opponent? Because it makes sense for him to roost. But if I get plus six, he gets swept. You know? So he can't risk me roosting again. But I can't knock him out with Brave Bird. Well, it was a roll. Um, so I'll give one more. See what Mystical Fire is doing. Okay. So just my special attack. Um, and let's get rid of this bird. Ugh, I'm gonna take so much though. I'm gonna take so much though. I'll have to play well to get Zapdos back to full. Please no luck. Please, please Zapdos come through. Thank you. My guy. So we're gonna see what's his fastest mind. This is Scarf Lando then. Um, thing is I'm like plus 100 defense. So let me see if Stone Edge even knocks me out. Because if it doesn't, then Lecky finna go in. I am plus three defense. I'm probably dead to this. It's a Landorus. Landorus, Therian, Stone Edge, Zapdos, Galar. Plus three. Stone Edge has fifth. Stone Edge doesn't kill. Sonic doesn't kill. Thunderous kick him. No, knockoff's definitely not gonna kill me. Oh, uh, that's what I like to see. Is it? Is this? Could this be it? Could this be it? Hmm. Pex being dead. Well, well, at this point, you know, well, I kill Pex. Victini goes in. Man. Wow. <laughs> well, this turned around. Uh, so Hydreigon should come out right, and I'm trying to set up for boom, 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 boom. Gotta get get boom, boom, boom and um, um, lucky. So uh, ideally, so it's Orb Hydre. Um, it's probably gonna get Roost, but that's why I got the the hex. Uh, ideally stays in he's roost stalling which makes sense Blissey makes sense too um right right and so you fear you should know because you turn into because he doesn't want this dead or else like he just goes crazy on him um but i want to see how much u turn does because soft boil interesting so we're gonna willow his peer because we don't die stealth rock huh i'd predict toxic toxic makes a lot of sense here okay um i mean what what can i do right soft boils uh Seems to not have anything to hit this. I could have went Rilla Boom. I think Boom probably did it, would have knocked him out from the range of that. Um, see how much this is doing. Yeah, this is doing way too much. So if he boils, yeah. Excellent. So now Lecky comes in and. 
He goes for Mag though, which is weird. I don't understand the Magirna decision. Huh? Let me think. Is there something I'm missing here? Magirna can't kill Victini with anything ever. And I even now sped it, which is a done deal now. Okay, well, that's a game. Um, yeah, GG. I'd rather have two fast mons um, than a slow one. Especially because, boom, an SD is our play to make sure that um, he's taking maximal damage. Maximal damage. And then Lecky does his thing. Whew! Well, Galarian Zapdos, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out! Well, yeah, that was a good round out as we're on our way back. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed the way Zapdos dominated that end part. Like, Zapdos really took that team by the neck. <laughs> you know, so I, I was really happy to see that. Victini held his own. Like, everybody did his thing. Everybody did his thing in this live. Like, Rillaboom had its moments. Victini had its moments. Reggie Lecky had its moments. Awesome live. So, B Pwn, hopefully you're proud of your team, man. Keep team building. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.